determine that a surge is happening. Now, why is it happening? Um, and in my preference, I don't want to shut the machine off. And if I don't have to, I would much rather keep it online in the exact conditions that are happening. But if I can lower that current limit a little bit, then troubleshoot further from there. I can go about this one of two ways, going from a current limit perspective. I say I'm at, it's, it's set to 100% current limit as a default. And I can either go to say like 80%. It kind of depends on where it's already at. Uh, but I could go to 80% or 70% and shoot for that upper range to see if I can get just below that surge line and then start my troubleshooting. Or in some cases, I'll go as low as I can. So that may be 40, 50% uh, current limit. Completely force that compressor to ramp down. Then I will start slowly if i don't have an obvious situation right then once i've got the surge to stop then i will start kind of bumping that that current limit back up and go say i started at 40 percent i go to 50 and i go to 60 oh i hit a surge at 60 percent okay let's come back to 55 and then let's see where that surge line is let me push right up to that surge because if i can get to that surge line and see what my conditions are it will help me more quickly identify an issue because I may not be able to see that condition fully unloaded but as I force that machine to load the the circumstances or the conditions that are causing the surge will become more apparent whether that be the cooling tower can't keep up or uh, whatever the case may be maybe it's a refrigerant issue those things become more obvious as I am closer to the condition it's happening at so Current limit is one way to do that.